Thank you. So, these are my six scoops of happiness. On that day, I was very sick, but I still dragged my husband through the streets of Milan, determined to make it to the last gelato shop on my list. I guess you could say that ice cream was always in my brain. And before I even realized it, I was running towards my passion. Specifically, I was looking for great ice cream with an amazing customer experience. Maybe because ice cream revolved around people like Baba and the family. And they made it not only a sweet treat in their mouth, ice cream was an experience, a, a connecting experience, and the memory of food that lasted for a lifetime. Today, I'm not here to tell you how many shops I opened, or even the exact process of running my business. But I'm here to, to share some helpful tips that led me to my ice cream journey. <clears throat> but before we take our first bite, I would really like to highlight on the importance of having a vision ahead of you. Life is long and twisty. And without a clear vision and purpose of your life, you cannot work towards your dream. <clears throat> Think of what you really want. For me, it was the scoops of gelato in Milan. This helped me to access my true, determined, and responsible self. Having a purpose in your life will also protect you and keep you uh, from getting distracted and sidetracked. For me, it looked like an obsession over expensive shoes and bags. But when I clarified my purpose, my dream was easy to fulfill. In my case, following my dreams, even since I was a little girl, had always led me to ice cream. So, my first scoop, which is setting a purpose. Let me tell you more about my understanding of a purpose. I get a lot of questions from people who want to start their own business. How do you fund your project? And it can be challenging, but everyone is different when it comes to raising your startup capital. And you have to decide what is better for yourself. For me, I was determined and focused, and my sense of purpose kept me motivated through the journey. I decided I will not take any financial support from my family. I waited and I saved. And when I saw it happening, that so sweet, sweet feeling when I was able to buy my first professional ice cream machine. And my purpose was the reason that led the, pro uh, the process. <laughs> and once I've reached there, once I saw my sense of purpose and I trusted it, I s uh, my dream started to take its shape, literally a shape of a colorful scoop of ice cream. And this takes us to our second scoop, innovation. I've always had passion for being in the kitchen. Sometimes, without even realizing, hours would pass by while I was trying recipes and experimenting. I was determined from the beginning to use a natural ingredient without any artificial uh, ingredients or colors. And it took me actually a whole year to come up with a unique ex uh, recipes for my first shop. Let your innovation, let your passion lead the innovation and creativity. When you bump in the roadblocks, don't take the easy way out. Stay true to yourself, your passion, and your purpose for starting this at the first place. And this takes us to the second, to the third scoop, which is connecting to the community. Many people think that the main outcome of starting a business is gaining a profit. But I realized 
that profit doesn't only come in the form of money, it can come in other forms. For example, customer satisfaction. I get my great fulfillment through seeing my customer joy. Their happiness is my main outcome. I never get bored of seeing different people and scenarios at my shop, like a mom and kids running through my door sh shops, talking about long school days or tough training sessions and choosing their favorite flavors. Or a group of teenagers hustling around the tables, talking about cheering a friend up or talking about life disappointment or difficulties. I can relate. I've enjoyed plenty of ice cream over after a hard day. But every company is different when it comes to connecting with their customers. But with me and my team, we focus on three things. Good quality, comfortable spaces, and overall great experience. This sounds nice, but without a well-trained team, you cannot achieve your company's goals or maximize on your customer satisfaction. And this takes us to our fourth scoop, which is building your team. Big part of connecting to your community is also connecting you to your own employees. They are the faces you see on a daily basis. They are the living stories you interact with in each stories, conversation. Everyone is different and have different approaches. But for me, I always like to treat my employees as my second family. So we talked earlier about customer satisfaction. And I want to highlight that it's, it's from your team. If you, have, if, you, if you invest in your team and you train them and you give them the proper training and proper knowledge, they can be able to satisfy your customer under any circumstances. But they need to know how, what to say, how to deal, and how to create the overall great experience and still remember your purpose and your passion even while scooping ice cream and running the cash register. Thank you. <laughs> and the end results of a satisfied customer doesn't only mean that your customer, or your, your employees are instinctly knows how to deal with them, but it's something that they, they should, it should be learned, taught, and practiced. And this takes us to our fifth scoop, dealing with challenges. So I talked about fun things. Now let's talk about when, when you're trying to pursue your dreams and passion, there comes challenges. As a startup, it's normal to expect that you get a lot of challenges, so you're more well prepared. But I had to face something I couldn't have imagined, Mr. Coronavirus. In the early months of 2020, with the virus all over, I was concerned for the safety and health of my team. And the ultimate solution was to close the business, but my team didn't want this. So we took extra mile and extra safety precaution to keep my team safe and healthy while still running the shops and ex uh, opening the door for my customers. So basically, it is part of life. Challenges is part of life. But you have to be well prepared to expect the unexpected so you can act fast. The faster you pivot and react in a positive way, the better you stop the negative effect of the challenges. And this takes us to my last scoop, which is my favorite scoop, training. So, you have to understand that you can never, ever, ever stop learning. Even if you put a lot of effort and energy in pursuing your passion or dream, there is always there are, are, are more to learn. And you should uh, aim to, uh, to better understanding fresh perspective, and incredible, uh, increased skills. And personally, I'm always determined to 
learn more about the things I love, which is obviously ice cream. And that's why every year I have a program and I stick to it to try to travel, to attend seminar, to take new courses, to develop myself. And just as you thought you got what you came for, I would like to leave you with an extra bit. We call it the cherry on the top. So I, I really advise you to develop yourself, develop your team, and develop the experience for your customer. Continuing develop and, uh, development in each and every level will help you and the people around you mo keep moving forward. As I started my business journey, a lot of people doubted me. Some even tried to stop me. But I always remembered the beginning. I always remember my lifelong dreams that turned into passion and purpose. So, stay strong and be true to yourself. Don't let anything or anyone stop you from pursuing what you love or, you, or your dream. And while you are working things hard and while you're working hard on figuring things out, please don't forget to give time and make your soul happy. Thank you for having me. <laughs>